friends. It's me. I'm back. It's been a little while. I, uh, I got hung up a little bit there. Uh, burnt my hand. And this one. This one more than this one. It's a long story, but it's all Susie's fault. She left me home alone on a Saturday. And, uh, I got hungry, heated up some oil in a pan, got busy doing work, broke the number one cardinal rule about cooking is don't ever leave the kitchen when you're cooking. I broke the rule. <sighs> yeah, the oil caught fire and um, caused all kinds of problems. Anyway, I got the fire out and uh, saved the house. My marriage is still intact as well, so I'm healing. It's been about a week and... Hey, Scott. I'm doing well. How are you, buddy? I'm doing good. It's a beautiful day for November, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's almost making you feel like playing a harmonica, right? You want to come and join me? <laughs> See you, Scott. <laughs> All right, happy Thanksgiving to you, buddy. Your grandpa played harmonica? You said your grandpa played harmonica? Awesome, man. We're going to have to get together and jam sometime. <laughs> my neighbor Scott cool man right there he's been through a lot in his life but uh I don't know where I was anyway save the house burn my hands it's been a week and a couple days healing is still going on but uh I needed to get out here and do something I'm going stir crazy the day is beautiful it's November I mean I can't believe how nice it is it's November 23rd I think beautiful day but uh listen so I had you know started having shoulder issues Man, I've had shoulder issues really kind of all my life. I've had surgeries and stuff like that. And um, with all the tree climbing I've been doing over the past uh, year, and um, not to mention the rock climbing and all of that years before, um, I'm having some real issues with my shoulder. Like, I can't even throw my throw bag up in the tree anymore to uh, get my rope in the tree. It's getting really hard for me to do that. And so I'm... Some of you know that I worked on this um, explosive um, gun to launch throw bags into trees. Um, that hairspray version is illegal within the city limits, so I can't really use it. Works nice when it's working, but um, I do want to make a pneumatic one. Uh, Joe Bisping uh, on his channel, he built himself one of those and he did a really good job. I mean, it does a great job and it's very simple. Um, I'm going to copy his design eventually and make one myself. But I, I kind of want to have a few options uh, under my belt. And so I went out to my local arborist supply. I can't believe we have an arborist supply near the town of Dover, Ohio. It's unbelievable. Um, it's uh, Endors. Endors Arborist and Rope Supply, I think. It's a cool place. Um, and uh, so if any of you are in this area and you need some supplies, go to Endors. Now, I did pick up one of these, it's like, you know, a big shot, only this one's made by, uh, this is, I don't know who makes this. Uh, it's called a True Shot, and it's a Jameson, or Jameson. So uh, basically the same, same thing, you know, heavy duty surgical rubber on a slingshot kind of a device. Uh, nice little attachment here, and it's about eight feet long. Uh, you can get uh, you can get four foot sections or segments for it, you know, and make it as long as you want. I don't think I need that much, uh, so I opted for this. But the problem is, you know, to launch these things, you gotta anchor this thing, put your throw bag in here, you know, and then get down. Once, once I get about here, that's about it for me, you know. It's probably plenty of power, but I'm not sure. And it's not real stable. I can't hold the pole very stable. So uh, I saw an idea that I like a lot. 
on uh, Richard Mumford's channel. Richard Mumford made a deal where he took like a an archery trigger. Do you know what I'm talking about? The little things that holds on to the holds on to the uh, uh, to the archery line, the, the bow line, and and it has a little wrist strap. You put it around your wrist, and that way you don't have to hold the string with your fingers. This little trigger holds it, and all you do is you just pull this little handle, and it releases the string. Gives you a real nice, uh, steady shot, smooth release. Uh, so he uses one of those, and then um, he attached it to a, a, a basically a piece of webbing, like a cam lock piece of webbing, something like this, a little cam lock device, okay, and uh, made a two to one advantage to allow him to pull that piece of rubber down as far as he wants, and it locks off there, and then all he has to do is just pull the trigger on the release and it goes. So let me let me just tilt this down and show you what I've got. Okay. So now I've already got this taken apart somewhat, but this is sort of the trigger release here. This device comes kind of looking like this and this long screw here is normally what they use to attach the uh, the lanyard that goes around your wrist. So I cut this off to give me about a quarter of an inch of, of excess screw here filed the the, th the final thread kind of beveled the the circumference of that to make it uh, easily threadable I pounded out these uh, little fasteners here these pins <coughs> and by pounding those out it allowed me to release or take this mechanism out now with that mechanism out I can get to the screw head in here it's a little Phillips on this end I just uh, marked a point halfway across this excuse me, <coughs> across this bar here, drilled a uh, number 25 drill bit and used a 1024 tap and uh, just tap this out. So now, and it's really kind of cool because if you notice, I don't know if you can tell or not on this, but um, the uh, this little saddle here is beveled, okay, concave. So I want to position this uh, so that my trigger's on this side. Now I can take this and thread it. Like that, right there. Ain't it or no dare. Oh yeah, she's good and tight, you know. Okay. There. So that's threaded in place. Now I can take this mechanism, put our little springy dingy back in here. Let me see if I can get that springy dingy going. It's a little bit weird to do. I'm going to grab a pair of these. All right. Springy dingy is in place. Whoops. There's another pin right here that holds this trigger fulcrum in place. I just lost it so I gotta stick that back in there. So with all these pe pieces in place I can now set this right back inside of here. Then I need to drive these pins back into these holes. I think that one's not lined up right. Oh, and I lost my springy dinghy again. Well, with that in place, maybe it'll be a little easier to put this back in. There we go. All right, so now I'm just going to tap these back in place. Okay. 
come over here. Uh oh, whoops, sorry about that guys. There you go, I have a seat right there. Okay, those are staked in place. So you can see what will happen is when I capture the string, I'll push that up. This will hold the string as I pull back tension. When I'm ready to release it, I just pull this trigger back. That's the plan. All right, let's see what happens. Come on back this way. Now, um, so the whole thing looks like this. Now, what, are, what I have to do is I'm going to go ahead and just cut this piece off here. Um, actually, let me uh, do that right now if I have some scissors. That's gone. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my webbing. So let me uh, bring it back down this way again. So the way I'm going to do this webbing is uh, with a soldering iron that I flattened the tip on to make more like more like a uh, a hot knife. And I'm going to use this to just make a nice cut along this edge here. There we go. So now, nice, now I have a nice piece of uh, finished webbing here. Okay. All right. Now, um, the one thing I don't have figured out yet is how I'm going to... how I'm going to pull this back. So I'm going to run into the house right now. I've got some uh, oh, some uh, old throw line in there. I'm going to get some of that and figure out a way to tie that around here. We'll see if that'll work for us. I will be right back. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the webbing. I just tied a knot, uh, these two ends together here. I'm going to pull the knot inside of this plastic housing. All right, that will give us something for this to hook on to. Oops. And you can see here, can you see this? That's how it's going to work. Okay. Now the only thing left to do really is to anchor one end of this webbing down So what I think I will do there is use a hose clamp, run the webbing through the hose clamp, and may wrap it around there one time, and then uh, mm. tighten it around the pole. How does that sound? Let's give that a shot. Shall we? Let's do it. Take the screwdriver. Let's get down here where you guys can see what. Well, let's see. Wait a minute. Now you know what we'll do. Bring it out like this. Oh. All right. Let's bring it down this way a little bit now. I'm not sure what all you can see here. So hopefully you're seeing a good view of this. Um, so, this thing this way, I want this to engage the string. I want my trigger to engage the string when there's a little bit of tension on the line so that it'll hold things in place while I get set up. So right here where my index finger is, is where one end of the webbing threads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the end of the webbing up to here. And that will be the start, that will be the length of my uh, 
my webbing. So I'm going to come down to this end down here. All right, you guys are way out of whack. Okay, I know. All right, so I'm coming way down to this end. And this is where I'm going to put my clamp. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around once. This clamp is a little bit too big, but it'll work for a test. All right, let's see. It. Screwdriver here. This pole's made out of fiberglass, so I don't really want to drill through it. Not at this point, anyway. Not that you can't drill through it, but I want to be careful that I distribute all the pressure equally around this thing. So there, I've got my clamp in place. So now, the test would be, so now if I thread, are you guys with me? Okay, keep your eye on me, okay, all right? Keep your eye. All right, so I am going to thread this through here, like that. And I'm going to do that like that. So what will happen now is I pull down on this. You notice it's going gonna, it's gonna to capture the progress of the tension. I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, it's kind of kind of cool. Let me get you up here a little bit. All right, so as you can see here now, can you see this? All right. I'm drawing back tension on this, and it's holding it in place. Now, once I've got my aim set and I'm ready to release, Wacko. That's all I have to do. Okay, so the next step. Oh, come on, look at me. The next step is going to be to try it in real life. So I'm losing daylight here. Oh, i got to be careful. I have a haircut appointment today at 5 o'clock, and it's 4.50. That means i got 10 minutes to get to my haircut, guys. Got to go. Maybe another video. Maybe not. I don't know. See ya. Love you guys. Thank you.